right. We are pleased to welcome in Marcus Felina to NHL tonight. Marcus, congrats. This team right now rolling. Winners of four straight scoring goals left and right. You've got the points racking up. First, just take us into the vibe right now of this Minnesota Wild team and, and how quickly things are changing. Yeah, it's definitely uh, it's definitely an exciting dressing room right now. All the guys are really excited and, and just having a lot of fun. Um, obviously, winning makes it a lot easier. And, um, you know, we've always had a, a, a high chemistry team. But um, when you're rolling like this, it it's, uh, seems like you're just a closer unit. So uh, things are going well. We want to we keep it going. Obviously, no, we, we're not on the hole yet. we got a long way to go. And, um, you know, we got another big game against Vancouver tomorrow. All of a sudden, it's Minnesota. With a W. <laughs> the Minnesota Wild all of a sudden just decimating everybody in their wake. Look, you guys are playing up tempo, you're playing fast, you're playing together. What's been the biggest change internally from the room standpoint in terms of an adjustment that you guys have made? Uh, you know, I think I'd give a lot of credit to John Hines. I mean, he's he's come in here and you know, he's just tweaked a little a couple things with just how we can play a little faster. You know, we we we've spent a lot of time in our zone and um, we seem to just have a little bit more confidence in that area of, of making the right plays, making the right options. And, um, you know, I think we just talked about getting away from the puck. The guys away from the puck have to work a lot harder. So um, we've been doing that in those past four games we've had. We've, we've been doing that. Guys seem to be playing with pace. And, and um, our, our transition has been a lot better uh, as of late. And, and you know what? It's just uh, it's a mindset, too. I think we just needed a, a, a little bit of a kick in the butt, so to say. But, um you know, we have a lot of guys in that room that know how to play the game the right way, and um, it's just been nice to kind of put it together for a full six years in a row, and um, we want to continue that. Yeah, you know, it's funny because uh, Weeksy and I called your game on yeah. Sunday against the Chicago Blackhawks. The thing I noticed is what you're saying is just it was just quick outs, quick ups, move it, moving going north and south much more, more quickly, and it seemed like you guys were playing with a lot of pace, and it really gave the Chicago Blackhawks a world of trouble in that win on uh, Sunday. I want to ask you about that line that's come together, Zuccarello with Kaprizov, and now the young kid Marco Rossi in there. And, you know, you're a veteran now. You've seen young guys come in this league, and he's a first-round pick, expected to do a lot. He's had some different challenges along the way with illness, injury. He seems comfortable playing between those guys, and those guys are just like they're on another planet with the, their kind of chemistry. But uh, what do you make of that line so far? Because that has something to be very special, it seems like. Yeah, you know what? I mean, we all know about Kirill and Zuki and their special chemistry, but I think uh, with Marco Rossi, uh, we're just excited for him that he's been able to kind of come in here and build confidence you know, when the team wasn't doing well, he was probably one of the bright spots on our team that was playing well and playing steady and consistent throughout a nightly basis. And, um, you know, you, you put a puck in the net and you get a little confidence. I think that's what relieved him. He was he kind of scored early in the year and was making some plays. And I just think he's just really found his game. I mean, he's a fast player. He plays with pace. He's, he's good at tight turning and things like that. They can buy some time for those guys. And, you know, he's been playing a really good job in, in their D zone, being reliable and, and being smart. Um Marco's got hockey IQ, very high hockey IQ. And I think when you're playing with Kirill and, and, and Zuccarello, um, those guys thrive off of it. So um, it's been a huge boost for us. You know, we get to kind of balance our lineup a little more. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a young rookie between them playing on the first line. But Marco's definitely not playing like that right now. So um, it's it's fun to watch. And it gives our, our lineup a, a big uh, big boost of just the balance. And, um, you know, we're seeing, you know, Kirill and Zuki kind of kind of take off now here, which is exciting. Marcus, you kind of touched on that fire of being lit under you guys with the coaching change and kind of giving some credit to John Hines and getting you guys to play so much faster. What did you heard about Hines as, you know, he was coming in? Because I know you just basically had a morning skate with him before these games got underway. What have the communication lines been like with your new head coach? Yeah, you know what? I, I just heard very detailed in this process of, um, you know, preparation and just uh, understand, um, you know, video, things like that. We've been doing a lot more of that stuff. And, just trying to get everyone on the same page. I mean, he's just preaching that, you know, we got to we got to get going here and, and we got to use games as almost like our practices. So, um, you know, when we do have times of practice, we got to really be attentive to detail. And um, it's been it's been working. I mean, he's been just really kind of breaking things down for us and, and making us realize what what's out there, the options we have. And um, he's been a great adjustment for our team. And, and it's definitely showing. I got a follow up here. So growing up, you know, in Toronto, I, I had to watch your dad play, got to watch him play in his awesome career that he had. And he wore that old Northland bucket, right? <laughs> and my my youth hockey team, we wore those when we were younger for the first couple of years. 
So what would it take for you to rock that bucket? In <laughs> what would it take? Would it be one of the boys they, buying you dinner, sushi, a bottle of vino? Like, what would it take? Oh, man. I mean, you gotta, I don't know if that thing could put a visor on it, if it has the, 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 the screws on the side or anything like that. But, you know, I always laugh at that because we always talk about my dad's, my dad's helmet sometimes. Yeah. He said that, oh, yeah, he's got, he had other companies, you know, pay him to wear other, other helmets, but he couldn't do it because the Northland was just so comfortable. No he way. Get, I think, I think it would yeah. help him with, with fights and stuff. I think guys would punch him and it would be so cushiony that it wouldn't hurt his head. So it was one of those things too. It's just, uh, so, he loved it. He loved it. And I don't know if you could ever look back at my dad's career and, and see him in another helmet. So, fair. um, it was, it was really cool to see all those, all those guys make laugh about it we call it the fruit loops bowl it totally um, is zero out of it so it totally it's, uh, we have a we have a couple that nick and i put on in the summer when we play road hockey or something nice the sport so we uh we tend to headbutt each other a couple times with those things with that north end bucket on. <laughs> that's so cool that's so good well they are safety yeah. tested yeah they are exactly yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. safety first 100%. Um, uh, speaking of your family you yeah. just we again we called that game against uh, chicago you got to play against your brother i believe it was the 23rd time at the nhl level you guys have played against a, your brother you and nick i mean what is that like for you i mean i guess when you've done it so many times you're used to it you're older now you're both older in your career but maybe because there might not be as many times in the future, maybe it means even more. How, how did you feel about it? How do you feel about it now? Yeah, you know, I think early on you're excited. You're, you know, you're a young guy coming to the league. I remember my first two games in the National Hockey League were against Nick when he was playing in Ottawa. So um, it was really uh, intense and, and big for our family, and um, it was exciting moments. I think now, like, we've had so many run-ins and so many, you know, you just you want your brother to do well on the other side of things. and. I'm really looking forward to maybe one day playing with them. So, you know, that's the that's the thing now. I'm kinda of sick and tired of playing against him. It's frustrating and you wanna you wanna be on the same team as him. So um maybe there's a chance to do it. I'm I'm still pushing Nick uh to keep playing another year, another year here. So um we'll see what we can do in the future if we can get together. But uh I'm proud of him and his career, and it's always fun to play against him. I know for our family, everyone gets pretty excited, and um, you know we always get texts after games and things like that. So it's it, it's uh, it, we're really fortunate and uh, lucky to be able to to be playing this uh, this great game and at such a high level. And um, I know our whole family enjoys watching it. That's so special, that's so cool, you know man. that competitiveness, yeah. the brotherly love. That's just really what it's all about. And and how about your game right now? Can you just tell us a little bit how you're feeling? Last night, of course, you had that beauty of a goal. Just how are you feeling with all this and, and the way the season's going? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it was, it's been a, it's been a grind. I mean, it's it's um it's been a kind of a slow start a little bit. Um, we're really finding our game now. Everyone's been been chipping in and. Um, you know, you just need a little bit more out of everyone, and, and uh, that's how I'm feeling now. You just got to try to provide that spark for the team, no matter which way, if it's cashing in on, on a goal or just a defensive play, things like that. I feel like my game's coming back a little bit more now, and so has it been so with, with everyone else. I mean, everyone's really feeling comfortable. The confidence is there. So, um, yeah, you know, it's just it's one of those things. It's such a long season, and you know, when every team goes through ups and downs, and, and uh, we seem to have uh, have hit it early, and we got to make sure that it's it's behind us now. So, you know, I'm a big believer in how the team's going is kind of how I'm playing, and and, uh, and right now it's been it's been going well. We don't want to stop. Okay, so question two questions. Number one, sushi or steak for you? <laughs> oh, steak. Steak man. Steak. Favorite. Yeah. Give me your favorite steakhouse in the national, not in mini, but your favorite steakhouse oh, on the circuit. In the national, not to, put, not to put them on the spot. We just want to get the fans. It. You know what I mean? Let's get the fans. We're buying you some time, Marcus. Yeah, just give the fans <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Of, a little well, you know, you have some suggestions. I've got about too. 25 yeah. of them. Yeah. Oh, I mean, <laughs> too many. I mean, we're like thinking we're like just a classic steak spot. I mean, I, I right now in my my favorite restaurant. What's your jam? They have steak. They have steak there. It's. It's the 1230 Club in Nashville. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's, I knew this was gonna be a good guest. Walk to the top floor and sit down. Yep. That gives me vibe of like me the too. Rat Pack is still alive. And, me and, too. And you got, like, it's it's unbelievable vibe yep. there, and like, that's the our food jam. is amazing too. So, um, I mean, I know there's some more authentic steakhouses no, that I've probably been to, but call. right now, like, that's that's my favorite restaurant going to National Hockey right now. Hold on, wait, and I'll piggyback that. Co-owned by Roman Yossi. 
Okay. That's right. Uh, Co-owned co by Yoast. Well, that's it. That's perfect then. So I'd you be lying be... if I didn't if I didn't have someone reach out to Yoast to get me a reservation. There you go. Of, uh, in that place. So reservation. We got some <laughs> Reservations. Yeah. How about a free dinner? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. see you guys are hyping yeah. it up here. Yeah. <laughs> national television. Hundred percent. Yeah, a free yeah. meal. What's the order? What's the good order? Hundred percent. I go, oh, I get, they, they, I do sushi. I do a surf. I used to get sushi yeah, and, and a little fillet. As well, yeah. Sushi's really good but, there, too, in a fillet. Yeah. You? Yeah, the, the fillet's really good there. Okay. Yeah, nice. same. We get a little appetizer with sushi, then we, we finish it off with a steak, so. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. You're, no, you're, in, you're in Van now. Any plans for, uh, you know, tonight in Vancouver, a beautiful city? You get ready to play the Canucks tomorrow? Black and blue. Uh, Great steakhouse yeah, there. Yeah, you know what? I, <laughs> I lied about the sushi thing. We just actually went to a sushi spot for lunch. Just a light, I light. Figured, that's I figured. Exactly you got to do it there. Yeah. Yeah. We, went to, we went to Miku Sushi, which is a great yeah, spot Miku's here good in spot. Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And then uh, tonight, we just go for a nice dinner with the guys. I'm yeah. a big fan of uh, Blue Water Cafe, so we'll probably okay. go there. Nice. And uh, it's out in Yale Town, so... Um, have a nice dinner and then uh, just just get ready to to kind of keep this thing on on, right. on the roll. On the no roll. late nights in Vancouver. I, I love it. Exactly. I've heard about go. those late nights in go. Vancouver. Keep, None of that. Keep the train on the tracks. Keep the train on the tracks. That's track. right. Yeah, no, yeah. We're, we're in a hole. We're in a hole, EJ. We got to keep it going. Here. All right. Yeah. That's right. No right late idea. nights right now. That's the right idea. Marcus, thanks so much for the time. <laughs> I told you you'd be a great guy. Yeah. Oh, he's a good man. Spot on. Yeah. Enjoy your night Bye. tonight and good luck tomorrow.